He is the sir for our match. And a very warm welcome to you. Glad to have you with us alongside the professor, Pete Steinberg. I'm Kit McConico. And there's been rain all day. It's our second match today here at Lupo Family Field at Life University. And then the bye in 16, the final two on the road against Utah and New England. What a victory for Utah today. Windsor misjudged it, and here comes Atlanta the other way into the hands of Petzer. Petzer, the offload, and it, it's going to be Von oh. Voigt. No, stop from behind. What a job. Boyson able to track him down, the big man with a try saving tackle. Wow, the number eight tracking down the wing from behind. Do you remember the time when that big number eight, you know, six foot three, 240 pounds, caught you from behind? So I, 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 he just didn't put the gas on. He didn't. He think I thought he thought he was in. Not the case. Boyson able to get there, but still danger for Atlanta. Rugby ATL find the opener here in the 14th minute. Looking to get across Deacon. Did he dot it down? He did. And the try goes to Atlanta courtesy of their number seven, Ross Deacon. Take another look at the try from Deacon. Yeah, it's a great drive. And, and the thing that makes it really good is you can see everyone keeping their hips square so they can drive forward and then shearing off to the side once it collapsed. Nice scrum, great platform. I say that it was the case initially. He said, Sam's a professional. And he said, of course. Sam Windsor does what Sam Windsor does. <laughs> Raises the flags, does the rook, and he makes it a two-point game. Getting to the edge, not giving Houston those opportunities. Povey with the kick. Good chase from Houston, and Houston will come away with it. In the hands of Godfrey. Godfrey looking for the offload. Houston fortunate to retain possession. Really interesting option to kick. You can see that kick happens, and then Godfrey gets it. Carlson is able to hold him down. You know, they ended up playing in Major League Rugby and having that pathway, which is great. Almost stolen away. Momsen's so good at the lineup, but Beecham able to retain it for the Cats. Looks like there's an advantage from the knock-on in that lineup. Houston with the advantage. What will they do with it? And they will knock it on. Fortuny unable to hold it. Major League Rugby's all-time leading scorer. Can he put Houston ahead? Routine for Windsor. Two for two in penalty goals. Houston takes the lead, six to five. We find ourselves pretty much back at the same place a few minutes later. We'll take that. Kelly, the 26-year-old, originally from Wigan, England, but raised in Charlotte, North Carolina, a former Atlanta Rhino man. His first action of the 2021 season. Windsor, three for three. Thompson, one of the best in the line out in Major League Rugby. Clean take. Now Von Rinsberg, the ball. Houston bowing their neck defensively are the Sabercats. Just shy, can the Cats get the stop? So far able to keep the Rattlers out. Atlanta looking to take the lead. They have not held it since early on. For a little pick and drive. Houston there for the time being. Deacon already with one try. Can he make it two? Still shy. Looking to dive at the post. Jack Goal on the spot, no signal, and it appears that Atlanta's still just a bit shy. Trying to find their way through, looked like possession was lost, no still. Now Jason Dom across and down, found the hole, did Dom, and Atlanta retakes the lead. Waiting, biding his time, saw it, and he just took the extra step outside. I thought he was gonna dive right at Solveda. He saw the mass of yellow shirts. He did. That extra step to his right freed things up. I would add to that Uruguayan and maybe to a lesser extent even Argentine right. as well. But the Uruguayan national team, Los Tedos, well represented in Major League Rugby. Windsor 
off the crossbar and over. That should be worth at least four. Interesting choice here by Atlanta not to take the three points and tie it up, but for Goat to, to take the opportunity for the line-out drive. Very interesting choice indeed. We've seen some kicking miscues from Adrian Carlson. His teammates, they will go with what they think is more of a sure thing. And with Johan Momsen, one of the best in the league when in the line out, it makes sense. And to the aforementioned Momsen, it goes, trying to get the driving mall. Atlanta across and down are the Cats. It was the right decision for the Rattlers, excuse me. The Cats knocked backwards. Power from the men in gray. What an emphatic response from Rugby ATL. Beautiful. You can just see all of the Houston players getting driven back for that sheer. I mean, that's, that's exactly how Scott Lawrence drew it up. The better of the two sides through the last 10 minutes of the first half and early here into the second. And what a response from Atlanta. There's a reason they are tied for first in the Eastern Conference. Andy Carlson breaks free. Carlson looking for the offload. He's going to find it in the hands of White Tokyo. Tai Rangatira Waitokia off for try time. Boyson unable to catch him. It'll be too late. Or will it? We will see. Big push from Atlanta. You see what Vanessa Solo is able to bring to that side coming on and offside. Houston. Pinged at the scrum, what a difference. Take another look at that push from Atlanta. What a job from that pack. Yeah, I mean, Salah was driving up a little bit, but those, you know, remember he's fresh. So that freshness is really making a big difference. Last time they had this opportunity, they found a try courtesy of Deacon in the 48th minute. Can they find another? Unable to establish the mall. Underneath, Jason Dom across and down. He has two. Deacon with a brace now, Jason Dom says, I see you, and here's my second. Take a look at his try. Gets the ball, just goes to the right. Able to get right over. I think, you know, it'll be interesting to see you, um, how he does and how people like him continue to develop. You know, Mike Brown's um, another guy, a little bit more experienced. You know, we've got Bronson Tallis who's out here. A USU 20, like lots of these guys are out here getting um, getting good experience. Perfect throw, uncontested, no trouble there for Cook. And now the mall across and down on the spot. It'll be another five for Atlanta. The only question is who is the man who dotted it down? I believe that was Nitz Hedica. The 30-year-old from the Western Cape able to find his first try. Carlos has been good on the last two. Yep, just taking as much time as he can. There he goes. But in the other half of the season, they got beaten pretty easily. It's, it's, it's a very, very schizophrenic team, and we've seen it in, in, the, in the game today. Out into touch, unable to hold on, but that will do it. The final whistle comes from Jack Goal. 21 unanswered for Atlanta, and Rugby ATL takes the victory over Houston 33-15.